the Princess Elizabeth we knew and loved returns amongst us as our queen. In Hyde Park, they salute the new queen, Elizabeth. Hello and welcome to the sewing studio. Today we're going to make the houses row on our Jubilee quilt. And you'll notice that some of these houses are facing different ways. And I'm going to talk a bit more about that when we go over and start using the Bonder web. So the first thing I did was I made myself a little template of the house. Because as I said a moment ago, some of them face one way and some face the other. So you have to just remember with Bonder web that everything you do is reversed when you iron it onto your background fabric. So with these little houses, they can be any style you want them to be. So on this piece of Bonder Web, for example, I've just given you an idea and I've drawn the pieces of what you would draw as a traditional house, how you would draw it as a child with two windows, a door, a roof and a chimney. So however you decide to style your house, that's entirely up to you. But I've made myself a little template of the houses on this quilt. And I've done the chimney going both ways so that I can put some of the houses the other way as I've done on the quilt. So this one that I've cut out already, I have traced my design onto Bonder Web and then I've cut it out and I'm going to press that onto my background fabric in a moment. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you. So I've drawn the roof going one way and then I'm going to show you how to do one going the other way. So I'm going to draw this roof because that's going to be in reverse. So because I've already stuck this onto this fabric, it's turned out that way round. But if I want it to go the other way, I need to draw this one because it will go the opposite way when I put it onto my bonder web. So I'm just going to draw around this and show you what I mean. So when we use Bonder Web, we just rough cut. We don't cut on the line. You're probably going to make your life a lot easier if you just do a square house, but it's entirely up to you. So I'm just going to get the red fabric because that was the roof. And I'm going to iron this onto the reverse of the red fabric. I'm going to cut it out on the line. So you can see here that I've got roofs going the opposite way. So if I wanted to put them onto my background fabric, I would put this house going this way. Let me see if I can move that up so you can see it a bit better. So I would have this house going this way and I would lay it all out before I ironed it. So that's going that way. And if I wanted my house going the opposite way, I would put that like that. So I could have two houses facing each other. And that's the great thing about this quilt is you can make the houses whatever you want them to be. It's your quilt. I just decided to do these because I thought they were quite cute, quirky little houses. So what I would do is I would cut out all of the houses, depending on how big your strip is that you've cut for your background. So if you remember last week, we talked about all of our background strips being six inches wide. The quilt behind me, all of those strips measure 42 inches because they were the width of a bolt. This one that I'm doing now is 30 inches. So I'd work out how many houses I wanted to put on that. So for the purpose of today, I'll just show you how to attach this house. 
So I'm going to go over to the iron and I'm going to work out roughly where my middle point is. So it's about there. And then I'm going to break the back of the bonder web. I'm not going to iron them yet. I'm just going to place them first so I've got them exactly where I want them to be. Just want to line that up a little bit better. So we've got the end of the roof coming over. Let's just bring that down. So when I'm happy with the layout of my little house, I'm then going to press it in place. And I would do that with all of my blocks, all of my little houses until I've got as many as I want. And then I would go to the sewing machine and with red thread, I would do a little blanket stitch and then white thread around here or maybe even navy and then the navy thread around here. You could put little windows on it if you wanted to. Later on, you could put a little puff of smoke coming out of the chimney if you wanted to. So the choice is yours. So make each row your own and have fun doing it. Remember to subscribe so that you don't miss any other of the rows that we're going to show you so that you'll have your quilt made in time for the Jubilee. As always, have fun. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time here in the sewing studio.